to the channel what's up what's good i hope you're having a great positive attitude and you're conquering the day i'm here bringing you a prom makeup look because it's almost prom season and why not create a makeup look for prom so you can get an idea on what you could wear for prom and what products to buy if you don't have them go ahead and follow me on all of my social medias if you're not following me yet instagram snapchat and twitter i'll be leaving the links on the description box below subscribe to the channel if you haven't join the flower gang what are you waiting for turn on your post notifications because i am doing little shout outs and before we continue with the video let me go ahead and give my shout out i am gonna be generous enough and i'm gonna be giving two notification shout outs just because i love my flowers so much and first notification shout out will go to sj diafranca thank you girl for turning on your post notifications i love you and second post notification shout out will go to adriana hernandez so thank you so much ladies for turning on your post notifications it means the world to me and i love you guys so so much without further ado you guys if you want to know what products i use for this amazing makeup tutorial for prom go ahead and keep on watching Hey guys, so we're gonna be starting off by priming the eye. So first, before we start doing that, I do like to comb my eyebrows with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So I just like comb them a little bit up. And then I'm, I'm getting a little bit of my Tarte Concealer. And I'm using a Wet n Wild Small Shading Brush. I'm gonna get the concealer and just like overline my eyebrow. I just do the step um, before I start applying my eyeshadow. Alright, so once we have that, I'm getting my Heart Candy Glamouflage Concealer. So I had done a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys would you guys want me to do a prom makeup look or a blue eyeshadow look and most of y'all said prom makeup look since prom is coming up. It's kind of already prom season. So I was like, you know what? It's the perfect time to use my Soft Glam palette and my Modern Renaissance palette from EPH because those are like my top favorite palettes. So to start off with this look, I am using, of course, my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going in with Real Gar. This will be our transition shade. And I'm going in with that shade with my L Blending Eye Brush. This, eye, <laughs> this brush is so old, I can barely see the letterings in the brush. We're going to be tapping the shade first onto the crease and then blending it out. And I'm doing like a technique that Mitchell did on Nikki Tutorials where like he starts tapping on the shade on the center of the eye and then just like blending it. Once we have that shade on the crease already, I'm going to be getting a little bit of orange soda which is a shade from the Soft Glam palette. Applying this shade on the top just to blend everything out. The next shade from the Soft Glam palette will be Sienna. I'm applying the shade on the crease as well, tapping it first and then blending it out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get Cypress Umber from the Soft Glam palette. And I'm using my Morphe R41 brush and I'm getting a little bit of this shade and just applying it on the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to be cutting the crease with my Glamouflage Concealer from Heart Candy with the same brush I was applying the concealer first on the lid. We're just doing a half cut crease today. I am going to set the lid with a little bit of translucent powder. I'm just going to be tapping it so we, it won't be so wet when we're applying the shimmer shade. Alright, so I'm going to go back with Cypress Umber and just blend everything out. And then I'm, get, I'm getting a little bit of Sienna. And I'm also blending out the outer crease with this shade. So once that's done, I'm getting my glitter glue from Too Faced. 
All right, you guys, so I've had this pigment for quite a long time already, <laughs> probably like years since I graduated. That was back in, I'm not even gonna say. Um, this one's called Blonde Streak, the pressed pigment from MAC. And this is what it looks like right now. It's super beat up. I'm gonna be crushing a little bit of it and then just getting it with my brush and apply it to the lid. That's pretty decent. All right, so for eyeliner, I'm using my NYX Epic Ink Liner. And I'm just doing like a regular eyeliner. I'm not doing any wing or anything. I'm getting a little bit of Cypress Umber. I'm blending everything out on the outer corner. I do have a black shade here on the soft glam palette. So I'm thinking on like blending the eyeliner with a little bit of black eyeshadow on the outer corner just so we won't like see the difference between the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. Um, so I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. I'm like kind of afraid of black shadow. It could be very messy. I'm using Noir, whatever it's called. I'm getting a little bit of it, not a lot, and just put it on the outer corner. Okay, you guys, so for foundation, we're, before we do that, we're going to apply a primer that I love just because it makes my makeup last such a long time. And this is an old product that was introduced first by Nikki Tutorials. And ever since I got this product, my makeup lasts the whole entire day. So we're probably going to be there for a couple of hours dancing and probably sweating. So we want our makeup to last all night long, of course. So I'm introducing you and I'm sure you guys know what this product is. It's the Nivea Men's post shape balm and sensitive and the reason why this post shape balm makes the foundation stick to your face is because it contains glycerin it's a type of ingredient that makes um products stick to your face once you apply it so some foundations that i always recommend to my clients when i do their makeup is the l'oreal true match super blendable makeup foundation and you guys i swear by this product and it's a, it's, it's a drugstore foundation it's really good it's full coverage of course we want full coverage on our prom night right so i'm gonna be using two shades and i'm using w3 and w2 i mix these together to get the perfect shade for my skin tone so i'm gonna be doing that off camera all right so for for concealer i'm gonna recommend you two concealers one's from the drugstore and one's high end the one from the drugstore is also the L'Oreal True Match Corrector Concealer and this one's full, medium to full coverage, I'm not gonna lie, but you could build it up, you know, two to three times if you want. So I'm gonna be applying this and then I'm also on top, I'm gonna be applying the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This concealer is one of like the top popular concealers in the makeup game right now and it's already been there for like one or two years. It's really popular, it's full coverage. To me it's full coverage, I don't know for some of y'all, but I feel like it covers all of my dark circles and it's long lasting. I'm like running out of it so I'm not gonna be applying so much of it. And then I'm top just. And the shade I use from the Shape Tape Concealer is in light sand. So here I'm just gonna be blending it out with my beauty blender. So for translucent powder, we obviously want a translucent powder that's not gonna have any flashback because like I said earlier, we take a lot of pictures in prom night and a lot of selfies and you know we have like a mini photo shoot in prom it's okay we all do that so in my opinion and i've taken pictures with flash with this powder and i don't get any flashback and i know it's gonna work for y'all too is the airspun loose face powder this is a drugstore translucent loose face powder that you could get for probably five dollars so i'm gonna be using this one and i'm getting my beauty blender dipping it to the translucent powder and I never apply my translucent powder like this you guys but I was watching a Tina Halata video earlier and she always puts her translucent powder with her beauty blender and like she loves it like she can't use a brush because she says it leaves her street so I was like you know what I'm gonna try it it always looks super good on her so why not so I'm just gonna be tapping the translucent powder on top of concealer and we're gonna be you know baking for a while and then wait for like two, three minutes, come back and swipe it all off. 
All right, you guys, so for blush, I am using the Anastasia Powder Bronzer. These are new. I'm using this one in Cappuccino. I've used it in my previous videos, in like two or three videos already. It's one of my favorite shades. And it's long lasting, you guys. A lot of Anastasia um, products are, ver are very long lasting. So you can't go wrong with those. And here I'm using an Anastasia A22 brush to apply the powder bronzer. So a little bit of this product goes a long way. You don't need so much just because this product is already super pigmented. And we are gonna be applying a little bit of blush right now. I've been using my e.l.f. Matte for Matte palette just because it has like a light brown shade that's perfect for like the nose contour and I've been using these two shades right here to contour the nose. I kind of put like a lot on the bottom because it makes my nose look smaller. In case you don't know what it looks like, this is Luminosa from Milani. It's such a beautiful blush and it goes also with any look. I'm going back with the Anastasia brow gel, combing them again, taking off a little bit of foundation of them. And I'm using my Anastasia dip brow pomade in dark brown. So I'm just gonna like lightly do a little bit of strokes on the eyebrow. I don't want them to look too dark just because my makeup is already very, very dark. So for highlight, I'm using the Anastasia in collaboration with Amrezi. Such a beautiful highlight. Everyone's like hyped about this highlight just because it's so beautiful. I guess highlight is put a look together. Girls, you know, get your favorite eyelashes, the ones you think are very glam or like prom night, your favorite lashes. Wear those and you got your eyes snapped. Of course, we're still missing the lips. I'm gonna go ahead and apply um, my lashes. But before we do that, let me just go ahead and just finish the eye makeup because I'm still missing some eyeshadow on the lower lashes. So I'm applying a little bit of burnt orange and then I'm going in with Sienna. So these two shades. So I'm using my favorite eyeliner, Dosey Cosmetics Ultra Precision Black Eyeliner. All right, so for lips, I'm using my Anastasia Matte Lipstick in Kiss. This is what it looks like. All right, you guys, so another thing that we want to use for prom is our MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This thing will save your life. It'll literally snatch the makeup and it won't make it go anywhere. And we already applied the Post Shape Balm from Nivea, so that's already like stuck in our face. Like the, the makeup is already stuck in our face. So aside from that, we're using Fix Plus for MAC and that's just gonna like set the makeup. It's not going anywhere, girl. Trust me on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyelashes. So. All right, you guys, so we have pretty much the whole entire makeup set. I really hope you enjoyed watching this makeup tutorial as much as I did creating it. It's such a beautiful look for prom. I feel like it's very versatile and you could wear it with any type of dress. It is really, really nice. And I guarantee you guys, if you try this makeup look, it'll last the whole night. So I'm so happy you watched and I hope you learned something new and I'll go ahead and see you on my next makeup tutorial. Bye.